About one third of the population experience uh, sleep problems, and that's really a lot of people. And also, the uh, connection between sleep disorders and uh, neuropsychiatric disease like uh, Alzheimer's, Parkinson's, autism is mind-boggling. The current uh, tools to uh, address this problem are far from perfect. My name is uh, Luis de Lucia. I'm a neuroscientist at the uh, Department of Psychiatry in Stanford Medicine, and this is why my research matters. In my lab, we're interested in uh, why we sleep, uh, how sleep is regulated, uh, which components of the uh, sleep circuitry are active during the different phases of sleep, and then also how to figure out uh, what uh, happens when these uh, circuits go awry and how to fix them. One of the hypotheses that we entertain is uh, that one of the functions of sleep is to uh, repair DNA that is uh, damaged uh, during wakefulness. And that is uh, the reason why uh, sleep uh, dysfunction is associated with neuropsychiatric disorders and, and aging. The technologies to uh, map uh, brain circuits were not available 15, 20 years ago. Uh, the progress that we've made has been uh, really sort of amazing in the sense that we can now really control uh, and, and manipulate uh, with high precision many of the features of uh, sleep.